Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Super Castlevania 4. Last time we we went through the bridge and the Tower of B, and then we fought a guy. Am I going to beat the game today? I don't know, cause we're just heading straight to the next guy. That's right, it's the Gargoyle Buddy. That's right, it's the team up from uh, the Symphony of the Night. I don't remember him being as much of a thing, but also I don't remember at all. <laughs> Like, I remembered he existed! Oh, You lost your wings and now you're Red Aramer! Cool. If I had an axe, this fight would be very different. Okay, yeah, you got like a sweet spread gun. It's pretty rad, cool rad. Thanks to me and you. By the way, why is there all these panels everywhere? It's to ensure that you get the big whip, except here they do not ensure I get the big whip. Thanks! Whoa. Big whip though. That's mean. Okay, so you cannot duck as fireballs. You have to like hit them with your whip. Or something. Okay, so it looks like the trick to this fight is don't be an idiot. Take your time. He's actually pretty easy. He has a very various obvious like blind spot in his his shooting. There you go. He's dead. He did not take many attempts. Okay. And this is why clearly I don't remember him all that well. He has been skeletonized for our good. Is there a surprise in here? I'm just a weak little Simon now. And then we move on to the next cheese wish. I don't know if you remember the map. Like, clearly we're not going to be seeing it more. Uh, but, you know, like, there was, like, the big tower. And then, like, there was, like, these, like, stone, like cheese slices on the side, and this is what we're doing. It's death! Oh my gosh, it's the Reaper himself. If I can destroy him, there's no more death in the world. That's be bad. <laughs> all right, so I remember that you are very pattern-based. They all are. And again, uh, patience is good. You probably don't want to physically touch him much as you can. His tiny, his tiny guys are a lot more dangerous than the big sign, I feel like. I didn't, we didn't start this fight with me at full hell, though, you know? I hope you realize this. If you win, Mr. Reaper, like, it just doesn't really mean all that much. Gotta make sure, yeah, okay. I was like, gotta make sure I'm gonna be at a distance. But he also has a magic pixel, and his being at the last thing doesn't mean anything. I'm still gonna eat your meat, though. Can't do nothing about that, Reaper Chan! I'm being aggressive. Hey, I didn't get any points for defeating uh, Gargoyle. Like, my score, that's zero. Alright, no point. If you're going for a score run, do not game over. I love the fancy effect that happens around you when you get hurt. Like, I don't know why it happens, but it's super rad. Ah, oh, I did it. I dodged it. Whoa. Yeah, for some reason, I remember him just, like, getting caught in his vacuum pack being the worst. Maybe it's not. Again, like, it's clear my memory of this is not the clearest. I mean, enough for... Like, I remember this man being an absolute, total super wall. This is clearly not going to be the case. It clearly isn't. I, I defeated him on my second try. First try at full health. So, you know, he does his best, but what does that really mean? Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. I should shut up because the music is being really effective. Don't matter. I guess we are beating the game. 
this is where you go to beat the game! That's right! All the meat! All the hearts! And you get a boomerang, and dose, and triple! And there's magic stairs, and there it ends, and you drop. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, this is a handy way of making sure you're just fully powered up before a big fight. Just do it. You know what? It's fine. Okay, so as soon... I need to check something. You can just press up to go up the stairs? So, my big trouble yesterday with diagonals and stairs turns out it was a complete non-issue. You can just hold up. Dang it! See, there's gonna be stars and hearts, right, in these. I think there might also be a... A vial of holy water I wouldn't want, except I think I'm lying, because there clearly wasn't any of that. Alright, Drac! It's time! You're, you're... Slugren, the weird... Chicken Skeleton Man was a much more formidable foe than the gargoyle or death itself. Whoa, watch out, that does that. So I think what you want to do is you chuck that thing up there so you can concentrate on destroying the fireballs. That's the strat, and that's why you want Boomerang. Because you can just, like, litter the sky at, like, head level. Whoa. And, uh, I don't know, something's gonna happen probably at some point. Oh, you just went away. You just did not stick around for that one. Okay, fire spell. And these guys. Watch out. These guys are here. Don't get cooked. Yeah, it might take me... Oh. The... Yeah, I guess it makes sense that the fire they leave on the ground would hurt. It is fire. Jeez, what hurt me? Oh, it's because they also summon fire. Like, it might take a little bit. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. Drac isn't all that hard once you understand what's going on. You just... You just... I just need to remember what he does. <laughs> Is it here that there's something? No. What's up with all these frames without any photos in them? Oh, it's this casket in the background. That's cute. Oh yeah, now you're just hiding, huh? You hider. if the whip or the boomerang does the most damage. All I know is I'm just filling the world with hurt. That's just a smart thing to do. Dang it. I'm say, getting hurt. There you didn't do anything. You just appeared. Yeah, like, whatever I'm doing is, like, stopping him. Oh, the screen's getting electric. Drac has a second face, but it doesn't take, like, his whole bar, which is weird. Oh, he's got, like, a weird face now. That's pretty fun. So we'll check it out. It's me, I got electric powers! Check it out, my name is Dracula. I get pixelated when I am in pain. Everyone knows that it's part of the lore. I also don't like Australia. That's, that's true. So, this face of the fight. Okay, wait, is that it? No, he's not it. No, he's not it! That's not it! That's not it! What? What? Where's the homing sphere? He's supposed to throw a homing sphere that then shoots like a thousand little bullets, and he didn't do that. And then you hit it and meat comes out. 
Was that going to happen, but I hit him before he did it? Anyways, he's dead now. Yeah! I missed. <laughs> I forgot he had an orb! I- Why would Dracula have an orb? Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> uh, Simon downgraded his whip in shame. I don't blame you, buddy. <laughs> hey, remember this part? That was cool. The music was super rad. And the main programmer's name? Those letters are hard to read. I guess it's June. It's, it's hard to say. Like, it's... I guess it was a J. What else would it be? See, oh, he can just do it. The player program... Yeah, the person that made me is, is this person. I don't know how to read that first letter. I genuinely cannot tell what was attempted right. I was sure Dracula was harder. I thought he had more health past his health. Like, by a lot. Why do I re remember this? Is he harder? Like, does he does he take more damage from the boomerang than from the whip? Oh, look at the... Oh, I didn't show that off. Look how springy the ropes on that bridge are. It's super fun. The enemy programmer. That's right. This person here. They made the crows. They made the enemies. They invented the concept of skeleton. Well, watch out! It's a hydra, Simon! What are you gonna do? I don't know if it's a hydra. It's just two serpents, maybe. Yeah, it takes a while for the boss to show up. I'm aware it's weird. <laughs> there they are. They don't have a lower jaw. I mean, they do, because they have an open mouth. I guess, like, it's tucked in inside the jaw, inside the skull. This game was done pretty quickly, from all accounts. Like, which is kind of wild. Because this is one of the earliest release on the Super Nintendo. The graphics are so good. The mood is so amazing. Uh, the music is quite excellent. It is, like, one of my favorite game of the whole console. And the fact that it is one of the first games, I think, is kind of amazing. Like, honestly, like, if, if you had these exact same graphics at a higher resolution, the game would still look lovely. The game would still look absolutely amazing. Like, it's just, it works. And for the most part, the, the game is pretty playable. Honestly, the game is extremely easy for a classic Castlevania, or Classicvania, as they are known by a few people who I've heard use that term <laughs> during the LP. Uh, it is one of the easiest ones by far, in part because your jump controls are okay. They're not even good, they're okay. And, uh, the whip goes all over the screen. Like, the fact, like, you know, in regular Castlevania, normally you can only whip forward or back. It's rad that they give you the ability to whip, like, in every direction possible known by man. However, it turns out that is an extremely powerful item. And also, it kind of diminishes the importance of items. Like, that's, uh, the axe's big thing in Castlevania games. It's, it's the thing that goes upward. If you can just whip up, and you're relatively big for the screen size, and you're consequently your your whip kind of reaches really far. It kind of yeah. I feel like you can whip as high as the axe gets in like NES. Maybe maybe the axe goes farther on NES. I don't remember. I'm gonna be real. But no, yeah. Nonetheless, in spite of all that, maybe because of all that. Probably my favorite Castlevania uh, game I absolutely love. You can shoot a dagger while your weapon, while, like that. That was pretty fun. It's just fun. It's just good. It's moody, but in, like in a fun way. It's just good. It's just good. Like it's it's a boring final thing to say, I guess. But that's just what it boils down to. It's just good. I have a great time. I had a fantastic time replaying this. I struggled a lot less than I expected. Turns out that me, in my adulthood, is significantly better at video games after spending my whole life playing video games than I was when I was a wee lad. Not too surprising. That looks pretty- look at that. Ah, oh, that- that poor thing looks in pain. By far the hardest boss in the game, weirdly enough. If we're going stat-wise. <laughs> um... But yeah, nah. Super glad I played it. Ah! Uh, 
Perhaps. Surprisingly, perhaps, this was not a game I just decided to play out of the blue. This was a pat upon request. We had it was a royal request. So thank you for putting that game right in my target zone as soon as I saw it. It was like, ah, oh, well, okay. That's happening. No regrets. Very happy. Thank you everyone for coming along for the ride. And Konami Kurokurai. Wait, is someone named Konami or is Konami Kumokurai like a company or something? <laughs> Because this was presented by Konami, you don't need to then thank them. It's okay. It's all good. This was all good. This was a lot of fun. I'm so glad I played it. Now we're here on the screen. Oh, there's a fade. And coming up next, Loop 2! That is not true. We're not doing Loop 2. I don't even know if there's any difference in Loop 2. What we are doing is that after intermission, if the A side is allowed to just not die, maybe I can say the same for ATS.